This is John McGinty of the Mercer School of Theology in the Diocese of Long Island in Garden City, New York, continuing our reading of Henry Nouwen's Creative Ministry from 1971. In Chapter 3, Beyond the Skillful Response, Nouwen began by talking about the self-affirmation needed, the sense of worth for a person entering into ministry. In the second section of the same chapter, he continues with the importance, which might at first seem a contradiction, of self-denial in the willingness of a person to offer all that he or she possesses in the work of ministry. He ends that section with these words, again with apologies for the non-inclusive language of the day. But self-affirmation and self-emptying are not opposites, because no man can give away what he does not have. No one can give himself in love when he is not aware of himself. Nobody can come to intimacy without having found his identity. Jesus lived 30 years in a simple family. There he became a man who knew who he was and where he wanted to go. Only then was he ready to empty himself and give his life for others. That is the way of all ministry. Through long and often painful formation and training, the minister has to find his place in life, to discover his own contribution, and to affirm his own self, not to cling to it and claim it as his own unique property, but to go out, offer his services to others, and empty himself so that God can speak through him and call man to new life. So the identity of the pastor, as it becomes visible in his pastoral care, is born from the intangible tension between self-affirmation and self-denial, self-fulfillment and self-emptying, self-realization and self-sacrifice. There are periods in life in which the emphasis is more on one than on the other, but in general it seems that as a man becomes more mature, he will become less concerned with girding himself and more willing to stretch out his hands and to follow him who found his life by losing it. More to come.